hello and welcome to my youtube channel my name is Bevlin Langdon if you're a regular thank you so much for joining me if you are new here do well to join the family by hitting that subscribe button today I'm going to bring here a young achiever young people who are doing amazing things in their communities as I promised you right we are going to speak into um, uh, this young lady who is doing amazingly well she's engaging persons with disabilities she's mentoring young people and amazing initiatives i'm going to bring her here to discuss what her projects have been what the future looks like um future, uh, possible collaborations her challenges and so join me may say boring you may be any such an issue so just wait for me i'll be back to introduce my guest to you thank you for joining again my name is Beverly in london Welcome back once again to my YouTube channel. My name is Bevelyn Langdon. Um, as I said in my intro, in this episode, we are engaging young achievers, young people who are doing amazing things in their communities and want to throw more light on them and seek and then get support or collaboration in case you are in a space where any guest I bring here is in, you can easily collaborate. I can facilitate that and then you collaborate with the person. Today, I have here with me, Mam Penny. Magazia, <laughs> just say, or you be, be just say, in, in, in the sector of creating change and impacting lives, no, this young lady is doing amazingly well. Her name is Jennifer DeGraft Ninson. Oh, bye, Jennifer. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer has an organization which has a tree name, and to me, I really <laughs> like the tree name. Um, Jennifer. Or organization your friend Ophie yes it's called Ophie yes. I mean why Ophie what is Ophie so um, Ophie is an acronym okay and then it means organization for inclusion and empowerment okay. organization for inclusion and empowerment keywords inclusion and empowerment right. focusing on persons with disabilities and girls Wow yes why so, persons with disabilities okay why persons with disabilities well I, before going to the university, I didn't know I would be interested in disability issues mm -hmm. until I got there and saw persons with visual impairment in my class as a political science student. And before going to the university, when I got the MasterCard Foundation Scholarship, mm -hmm. I, I was thinking of what I could also do to make an impact, knowing that there are people who do not know me but decided to, have decided to um, invest in my development. Mm -hmm. And so I was looking for ways that I could also give back to the society. Mm -hmm. I saw the persons with disabilities in my class, got closer to one and asked, um, how are you faring in school? Because with your eyes, and every other as um, part of your body functioning yeah. well, yeah. you face some challenges. Mm -hmm. And so getting closer to one, I asked, is there anything I can help you with? He said, yes, um, I need someone to read for me, to record, sometimes grill my materials. And I said, yes, I'll do it. Mm. So it started with um, reading for my friend, reading and recording for a visually impaired friend. Um, brailing, helping him send some materials to the resource center to brail, mm -hmm. and then just having um, discussions with him during studies, and then that was it. So from there, I decided that okay, so why not um, take it a step higher, teaching him and then other people how to use the computer than just um, reading for him. So in that way, I can impact more than one person, and I brought up the. Beyond the Braille Initiative, where we teach persons with visual impairment how to use a computer. And then it has grown to be an organization with other initiatives. Wow. So basically, one person in your class inspired yes. Ophie. Yes. Wow. So um, what have been some of your engagements so far with Ophie? What have you done? What initiatives have you undertaken? What are some of your projects that you've okay. done? Yeah. So I mentioned Beyond the Braille, mm -hmm. which focuses on... Um, helping visually impaired students acquire computer skills. So we train them on basic um, computer skills to be able to study on their own if they have their computer and then also prepare them for the world of work because um, not a lot of people would want to employ persons with disabilities and ask them to grill and let another person transcribe before they can make use of documents that they're able to prepare. Time, time, yes, time, time factor. Yes, and then it's also expensive. Mm -hmm. 
and then we aside beyond the bill we have the disability hope line okay. which focuses on um, creating awareness about disability issues so advocacy mm -hmm. awareness creation mm -hmm. and then identifying or discovering children with disabilities in communities mm -hmm. and then coming up with individualized educational intervention plans for them okay. so we meet the child and we look at the needs of that child the level of the child's disability and then what thing can we do to help with the child's education. Does the child need to be in a special school okay. or the child can do well in a mainstream school? If the child can do well in a mainstream school, what are the things that we can support. help the child with the to be able to, to do well, the well. support to do that? And then we run the mentorship program as well okay. in senior high schools. Okay. So um, understanding that a lot of people um, um, make some decisions, career, um, personal development, some decisions because they don't have the needed knowledge or information available to them at the time that they need. Yeah, so true, we go to true, senior high school, so understanding true. how much mentorship has helped yeah. me, I go back true. to the senior high schools with other people and then we try to um, mentor them and then give them like yes, speed some mentorship support that they need that, that. They, they need to help make um, make them to help them make informed decisions yeah yes so most of the time the focus is on girls so mm -hmm. that is the aspect of the organization focus on persons with disabilities and girls so the, with the persons so, with the disabilities is it girls just girls or no, girls and for, boys for that for the disabilities we have we do both both boys yes, and girls both boys and girls with the uh, beyond the braille project um how do you fund it how do you get the support to you know fund the project to um, train these people okay so i started the initiative because there was a need there was a problem that needed immediate solution mm -hmm. so are you we use our own resources mm -hmm. so for computers we need computers and space yeah so computers we use uh, volunteers com the computers for from belonging from to volunteers, volunteers yeah. and then computers that belong to even the beneficiaries okay and then we pair them um, with with that kind of arrangement yeah. where a volunteer who has a computer is paired with um, a beneficiary Fishery. who doesn't have no, and vice versa. Yeah, yeah. So um, that is how we've been able to do the training. And then for training space, we arrange and then find a space that is available and then co would be convenient, especially because you to the beneficiary. Well, yeah. Yes. So when we communicate with the beneficiary and says that, okay, I'm available to have my training and the lecture room yeah then the, uh, could, the volunteer ahead. meets the beneficiary in the lecture room and then they have it done if it is at the hall maybe a pavilion beside the hall mm -hmm. they meet there and then we have the training mm -hmm. so that you make use of the little resources available mm -hmm. and not wait until we have, we have huge everything amount. aside that i've joined um, some fellowship programs okay. that have given support okay yeah so our first two set of computers we're gotten from the dot um, fellowship okay. that's the Digital Opportunity Trust Youth Street Team. Okay. Yes. So I was part of the 2020 cohort, okay. and then that's cohort two, and we got some money, and I used it to buy two laptops. So. <laughs> that's I idea. First set of computers we have for Beyond the Bro. Yeah. Aside that, we manage our own little resources to make sure that until we get a huge amount of money yeah. or we have someone donating computers for the initiative we make use of what is available to us so that we don't um, procrastinate on whatever impact we can make. You are doing amazing stuff so how many people have benefited from these projects that you did whether mentorship beyond the braille what are what are the numbers looking like? Okay so for beyond the braille we've trained about 20 visually impaired Wow. Students. And then for Disability Hope Line, we have two children that we have discovered. Um, one child with cerebral palsy, about Whoa. 10 years, and then wow. another child with visual impairment, about eight years, yes, in Tamale, wow. that we have supported um, with educational materials. And then for the mentorship program, we have been able to reach close to 1,000 wow. students. Yes, wow, close to 1,000 students. Wow, that's quite and a number. We be Began around 2018. Wow, yes. that's good. That's good. That's really. Let me catch you, So with this, is I'm sure you have a, had a, a few challenges come your way. What are some of the highlights of, of these um, challenges that you've had to deal with? Do you know achieve these numbers you're even giving us today? Yes. So 
for beyond the bro, the resources we need most are the computers yeah. and then a the training space, yes, yeah. obviously. But we do not have them. Yeah. And we've been using our own computers. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times when we started, we would train somebody and then the following week when you go back, the person might have even forgotten what well, you, you taught them because they didn't have their own computers to, to practice. practice. So now that we have two computers, we are expecting that it belongs to the initiative that we can always take, take. along okay. and then, okay. yes, we are expecting things to get better. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes you would think that somebody needs an assistance, but um, if you don't take care, the way they would respond to something they have already agreed to be a part of would discourage you. Okay. But it's up to you to make the person understand and how much that's, yes, how much that training um, would impact their lives and then what they would need for life after school mm. and working around it to get them on board to actually undergo the training and then understand its attempts. So those are some of the challenges, but mostly it's about monetary and then the resources like computer and then the, the, space, the space that we oh. still do not have. We are hoping that one day <laughs> you'll, you'll be able you'll be, to definitely, get definitely, them. definitely. Yes. So now, ten five years from now, what's the vision for Ufie with the initiatives that you are doing? What's the big dream for the organization? The future of Ufie, praying and hoping and working that. We would be able to impact more people, be able to train a lot more persons with a visual impairment, not just in the University of Education, but extending to other schools, private, um, I mean, basic schools, senior high schools that um, admit students with visual yeah, impairments, okay. that we are able to train them so that by the time they get to the university, they have the skills that would help them to do well in school. And then we are also hoping that we would be able to clear a lot of the misconceptions people have about disability issues because a lot of it um, is from the ignorance about these issues. So if we are able to clear a lot of these misconceptions people have, we can have a lot of the children that are hidden because of the disabilities they have and the community and then the families not understanding getting these children to assess education because education is a basic right mm -hmm. every child should be able to assess education irrespective of whatever condition that they acquire or they are born with right 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 that's 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 super great so um if someone wants to collaborate with you you know you've mentioned your challenges if someone wants to collaborate or support you how can a person get in, in, uh, into contact with you? Do you have um, social media handles? Yes. So we are on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn as Organization for Inclusion and Empowerment at the Ophia GH. Okay. Yes. And then our website, www.ophiagh.org. Ophiagh.org for our website. And then the Ophia GH for our social media handles. Okay. And then you can reach us. Our contact is available on our handles. And then, yes, you can even donate to us. Uh, details are also on our website that you can donate to. You. Yeah, and also if, if you want to collaborate with her, you can also either leave a comment or get in touch with me on social media. I would facilitate the collaboration easy, fast, fast. And so um, right now, do you have any awards or any, you know, say now you're a big girl, no shut out, be has come your way because of this initiative uh, okay. that okay. You've um, so in 2020, um, we got I don't I don't want to say I, yeah, because I work with a team yeah. and they've been amazing, they've been doing so well, mm -hmm. the support has been massive. Mm -hmm. So we got the um, data bank leadership and excellence award mm -hmm. in 2020 mm -hmm. and that's one award that didn't require people to vote before and i, I really appreciate it <laughs> and even it gave us some funds to uh, um, implement a mini project that's what we use for uh, the blind boy in tamale okay that we supported with the educational materials okay. and we got nominated for the humanitarian awards oh wow yes, humanitarian awards ghana High. oh wow yes oh wow in 2020 Eesh. as well Sister, near you are doing Thank amazing you. you are doing Thank amazing you. i really admire what, um, what you're doing and i hope that um you get support through this interview you get support through this video so that you know you can take off here to the next level so thank you so much for coming jennifer thank you for having me thank you for watching <laughs> i'm sure you've been inspired 
please support her. Kitwe Bienswa, anything be a budget so that we can help the persons with disabilities also achieve their dreams. They have dreams. They didn't wish, they didn't pray that they become what they are, but that's what they are. And so, would really, really hope that you can support Ophie so that you know she can touch more lives. Thank you for watching. My name is Beverly Langdon. Jennifer, thank you so much for coming. Thanks for thank you so me. much for coming. Thank you so much for coming. <laughs> so, all right, thank you so much. We'll see you again next time. It's a bye from me. Bye. <laughs>